When I was in the military, I did law enforcement security and I worked in the armory a lot, so I saw a decent number of munitions, but on top of that, on the civilian side, you know, the off-duty side, I was pretty into firearms for a while. Now, that's that life is pretty much behind me, but I did keep one bullet or more of every caliber that I've owned, aside from 44 Magnum. I'm not sure why I didn't just grab one of those. Um, but, uh, 17 HMR, it's pretty much 22, except a little bit more ballistically capable. It was fun to fire. You don't need me to show you 22 rounds, but I had those as well. 380 and 9 by 18 Makarov are really similar. I really enjoyed firing the Makarov. It was a nice, really comfortable recoil. The pistol that I had was was solid. It was a Makarov. Um, and then 9mm. I don't think people really need to be told about 9mm. It's like the basic gold standard. I mean, unless you want me to talk about this specific bullet design. But uh, 45 ACP, it definitely has like, it's hard to explain, but it kicks with a bit more authority. It's like a, not like painful, but it's solid compared to 9mm, but I mean, it's just tough to get over the capacity issues that this has. And then you've got 40 Smith & Wesson, which uh, honestly, I feel ashamed that I even own one of these or that I've ever owned anything chambered in this. It's just a, a middle ground round between 45 and 9mm, but there's really no reason to have that middle ground. However, 10 millimeter, that's a solid round. It's essentially as powerful as 357 Magnum, except you can carry 15 rounds of it in a full-size pistol. That's pretty solid. It's powerful. Uh, if I was in charge of like a monster hunting whatever, this would be what I, I would use as a sidearm. Um, and 357, most of those guns can also fire 38 Special, which is just a bit smaller, a bit less powerful, usually significantly less powerful, but not that much cheaper, so 357 Magnum's not bad. I never fired a, like, really powerful 45 Colt or 45 Schofield round because I had a break action revolver, but it was fun. I mean, it's 45. It's fun. Uh, I also did have the Smith & Wesson Governor, which also fired this, so I could have fired heavier rounds, but I just didn't. Um, then you have... Uh, 545 by 39, the AK-74 round. Sorry for pausing, it's a lot of numbers to remember. It's really similar to 556, you know. It, it, it's really different, but really similar. Not too much to go over. And then the classic AK-47 round, 762 by 39. It's ballistically different, but the feel of it isn't too much. Like, I never, like fired an AK-47 and then fired an AR-15 and was like, oh, they're so super duper different. They're superficially different. You can feel it a bit, but it's not really, I don't think anything to write home about. And then the caliber that I absolutely hated firing the most, 4570. And yeah, I'm sure that this person will just call me weak for saying that this was not fun to shoot. Like I absolutely hated it. Um, this person's probably going to call me weak. However, I really enjoyed firing 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum from a pistol. It's just, it, it, it doesn't really hurt as much, but it's still got like a, it, it's still a massive piece of lead. So that was nice. And uh, if you still think that I'm weak for not liking 4570, uh, 375 H&H Magnum, this was probably the best experience in a bolt action rifle that I've ever had. It's just like, kind of like a 45 ACP. It's just got like a solid recoil. It's not like snappy. It's not like a really fast 
thudding against your shoulder. It's just a really, it's like a push. I mean, it's a heavy, big game hunting round, but it's not too bad. Um, 458 Winchester Magnum is definitely heavier and uh, more oomph, but less pleasant, but still, in my opinion, more enjoyable than 4570. And then, uh, I, I don't know why I'm going smaller now, 3030, meh, nothing really to write home about, I think. That, that's it. Um, that is, I mean, aside from the military stuff, uh, pretty much the different calibers that I've had experience with and 44 Magnum, like I mentioned. Oh, and I should state that again, I was pretty into it at the time. I'm not as much now. That's like my past life. So like I say, I fired 45 ACP. I fired like five different guns chambered in this, had multiple 357 Magnum revolvers, multiple nine mils, multiple brands, makes, models, all that stuff. So that's what I've, that's what I have dealt with in the past.